When you're selling solutions to companies, very often during the sales process, you will have to do a demo. And I'll be honest with you, you know, most of the time these demos are just deadly dull and they're just not very helpful. Not very helpful for you as a seller to try to you know, promote your product and frankly not very helpful to the, to the customer who's trying to evaluate your product. Um, and you know, who's to blame for that? Well, sometimes it's the, it's the customer who's to blame. You know, they put together this long list of checklist of features that you have to show and, and that's what happens. And sometimes it's the, it's the vendor who decides, you know, they hear the word demo and they say, okay, this is an opportunity for me to you know, show as many features as I possibly can in the you know, 45 minutes you've allocated to me. Well, you know, in either of those cases, it just becomes horrible. <laughs> It becomes an issue where, and you see this quite literally, where you know the poor, the poor customer, prospective customer, you know their eyes roll back in their head, and all these people have got this glazed-over look, and they can't, you know, at the at the end of seeing you know three or four, maybe five of these vendors come in and trot through this whole list of features, they've just gone brain dead. They can't tell one product from another. They they're lost, and, and they end up making the decision for some other reasons. You know, for some reason, when people hear demo, it means feature, feature, feature. Well, in my mind, that is fundamentally wrong. In fact, in the world of software as a service, that, that is even a sillier proposition. Because, you know, SaaS allows you oftentimes to, to update features all the time over the course of the subscription. So whatever the feature set I may show you today, you know, over the course of the subscription, you know, that will be updated every few months, maybe even every few weeks. So the notion of selling features as a representative of your, of your solution is really nuts. Um, how do we fix that? <laughs> okay. Here's what I've seen that works. Stop thinking about features and start thinking about problems that you can solve with your solution. Okay. I'm going to say that again. So stop thinking about features and start thinking about solutions. By the time you get to a demo, Hopefully you will have a very good idea of what the customer is trying to do, what their challenges are, and you should have a good idea there's probably you know, two or three or four, or whatever these things are, and use those as the outline, sort of the, the scaffolding, if you will, okay? And what you wanna do is use the features to support how you would so solve those particular problems, okay? So the, the problem comes first and the features that solve the problem comes second, not the other way around. It's not feature, feature, feature. It's problem, here's how we solve it. Second problem, here's how we solve it. That just makes a whole lot more sense and really addresses what the customer really cares about. Now, I, I've had a couple of opportunities to sit through uh, what they called shootouts, which you know was uh, several companies all in front of prospective buyers and we can each see the other uh, products from the other vendors. So, so all of us were able to go through the whole list of feature, feature, feature. And I, and I gotta tell you that, you know, everybody's, every other vendor's solution looked pretty good. Their feature set looked, you know, reasonable and we all look, you know, pretty good. But, but you just get confused. And frankly, the thing that most impressed the customer or why they picked one solution over the other it had nothing to do with the features which you couldn't tell one from the other it had everything to do with the story that went around it it had to do with building that outline understanding the problem putting that first and then showing how the features address the problem problems first solutions first features second that'll avoid the deadly dull demo <laughs> I'm Peter Cohen. I'm with SaaS Marketing Strategy Advisors. You can reach me online at sasmarketingstrategy.com. And I also do a newsletter called Practical Advice on SaaS Marketing.